I want to give you three instructions about hearing God's voice. If you want to listen to God's voice, number one, He speaks through His Word. There's no shortcuts. A lot of people want God to speak in a, in a, in a meeting, a prophet giving them a specific word. No, no. The first place is His Word. If you're not reading God's Word every day, it's very hard for Him to speak to you. Now, sometimes He speaks in a very clear way. He says yes, or He says no. But other times, He doesn't speak in a very clear way. For example, should I buy this car? Should I go to Argentina? Should I marry this guy? He doesn't speak in a clear way. We wish He would, but He doesn't. But He gives us limits, parameters. And if we live between those limits, we can be sure of being doing God's will. He also speaks, giving us a rema. That is a specific word. Maybe as you're reading the Bible, a verse jumps up and it's God's rema for the specific thing you're living. Number two, he also speaks through his Holy Spirit. In John chapter 16, verse 13, it says the Holy Spirit will lead us to the truth. So he leads us, as I showed in the testimony at the beginning, putting thoughts in our mind. So we got to analyze our thoughts because it could be God speaking to us. He also leads us uh, putting uh, something in our heart. No, it's an impulse, a strong desire to do something. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, it says, And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your heart. So the Holy Spirit also leads us with His peace. If you have peace about something, it's because God wants you to do it. But if you're going to call somebody and you don't have peace, you must obey the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Number three, God also speaks through the circumstances. Circumstances are like signs that confirm God's will. For example, many coincidences, it's just God's providence, open doors, things that just happen in a miraculous way. It's God's way to speak to us. But it is important to know that circumstances can never impose direction. Circumstances just confirm what God has already spoken to us in His Word or through the Holy Spirit. For many years, I learned to hear God's voice, hearing Him, paying attention to my thoughts, the inner guidance of the Holy Spirit. But then there's something that it's what I call knowing His heart or feeling what He feels, loving what He loves, hating what He hates. And that is how to be sensitive to God's heart, how to listen to God's heart. In Psalm chapter 103, verse 7, it says that God revealed His character, His ways, or His heart to Moses, and His deeds or His signs to the people of Israel. So I want to ask you, who are you? Are you like Moses? Are you a person who God is going to reveal His heart, His ways? Or are you just one in the crowd, like all the people of Israel? They just wanted signs. I want to be like Moses. I want to be a man who knows God's heart. We're nothing but clay jars in the hands of a powerful God. We may be knocked down, but not out. He's burning, burning. His power flows and overflows within us. And even though others may try to pressure us, we can't be crushed. We won't be rushed. We're with them. We're gonna live our lives like arrows in the hands of a word. We're gonna.